it's me. <laughs> if uh, this is anyone's first time seeing one of my videos, I'm Lori and I'm a schizoaffective, which means I have schizophrenia and bipolar disorder at the, at the same time. It's real fun. <laughs> um, and I record my psychosis and um, delusions to help educate people like yourselves about my disorder and what it's like to live with it. So today my story is about how I had a delusion that I still am working on, that I still believe kinda, um, that I convinced dead people or souls, all of them that exist, so every kind of life that has a soul and the soul is out of its body, is a dead person. So all of the dead people I convinced to make a shape, any shape they wanted, I didn't care what shape, but I asked them to make a shape and to hold hands in unity as a show of rebellion against the gods. And I wanted them to make me be at the center of this shape so that there was a core uh, an anchor in the middle, the source of gravity, so to speak. So they made a shape and they held hands in unity. And it was a rebellion against the gods. And that shape they made and the frequency that's involved because of all of their souls frequenting in a shape, it left a scar on what scientists call space-time. It's just space because time's not an object. So space-time can't exist because that implies that time is an object and it belongs meshed with space. So it's just space. It's just air. It's just thinner air here and there, different gases. It, there's no time in it because time's not an object. It's a measure of distance or a measure of a process. So it's a abstract concept. Anyway, they left a scar in space where they made this shape and stood in unity and it made a skin or a shell of protection. And then I asked them to fill the space and dance in it. And then I danced with them and we danced in this space that they made and we filled it with like a jelly-like substance from the frequency that we left another scar, but it filled it instead of just creating the shell. And then I asked them to sing in it. And I sang with them. And we sang in this shape. And it gave it a soul. And that is how you create a universe. <laughs> and uh, that's what I think I did. I think I created a new universe that's better but there's no evidence to point to this. And I have to focus on that. And that's hard for me to do because I want to believe the other part is true. So I struggle with it. <laughs>